show you a new proof that Google Docs can easily get you traffic. Now, you will see right here the data that I put here in SEMrush. So this is the common URL of Google Docs. These are the Google Docs that you can access on the internet and it's currently ranking on Google. Now, you will see right here, if you go to organic research, so just in the US alone, there are 100,000 keywords ranking using this Google Docs L or just creating Google documents and setting it as public, you will be able to rank especially if you get a good content. So we could go to all keywords right here. Now look at this, one of the topic that's currently getting really good traffic, how the Grinch stole Christmas. So this is just in Google Docs. And if you view this, it's a public Google Docs and it's currently ranking. So it's just a story about this Grinch stealing Christmas. Uh, what if you get more specific topic and put that in Google Docs and in public? I'm going to show you how you can do that in an easy way. As you can see right here, I started doing that and I have five now and I'm automating this, which I'm going to share with you how you can do that as well and give you some ideas what topic you can get. This is how it's going to look like and this is publicly shared. So every time someone access this link or if this keyword right here can good cause headaches, get some ranking on Google. Now, why I chose this topic? When I go to SEMrush and pack GERD as a, as a main topic, here I go to questions and I just filter this to keyword difficulty 0 to 25%. And if I put this topic in a strong domain, which is Google Doc, as you can see right here, it is using the Google Doc subdomain. And as we know, this is a very powerful domain. It's more likely a Parasite SEO and you directly using the power of Google. Now, this is very easy to make, so I'm just creating a meaningful article which can easily get ranking and look at this i have my link my affiliate link when someone purchases from that link of course as we know we will get commission so you can have any type of product you want sign up with clickbank with amazon affiliate or you can sell your own product my suggestion is less hassle sell an ebook but in this example i'm just directly pointing them to an amazon product based on this keyword right here and it's all automated right here so I'm quickly showing you how this has been set up. So first, it took all these keywords related to GERD. So this is some kind of problem in human body. You can get more ideas just by going to ChatGPT or Claude. So you just tell ChatGPT, can you list 10 pains in human body? Not fatal, so just some minor pains or not very serious, like gout. As you know, gout is your pain pool, but it's not fatal. So these are some examples that they provided so you can do shingles. So this is very uncomfortable skin irritation. You can go with migraines, dental abscess, so things like that. These are all pain related to human body, which you can create as topics. So I chose GERD. As you can see, this is again a pain point. Now I'm automating this content. And to automate that, you have to put all the keywords in exactly this format. So open a blank spreadsheet using uh, the Google Docs as well, but this time spreadsheet. So if you are familiar in this channel, you know exactly how this template structure. So you will see we have two columns, keywords and status. We have all our keywords here. You can go thousand keywords here. So your automation will run longer and you can set the status to pending. So every time this gets created, it will automatically be marked as done using the simple make that com automation. It creates a Google Docs in HTML format and it will also insert an image. So the main source of our article is this one right here using article AI generator. As you can see here, you can directly automate contents. So creating a full version article just like here and a nice featured image related to your keyword just in one source right here. And it's very cheap. It saves you a lot of time. So you just need to follow this parameter, which already set up here. I'm going to export this blueprint if you are interested. So basically, you just need to populate the keyword with the keywords data that you get every time you run the automation from your list right here. So if I run the automation, I will be in this topic. Do probiotics help with GERD? Because I already created this for approach. So look at this. It's all saved in the Google Drive right here. So let's open one more topic right here. So for example, this is again a public Google document and can be accessed via this link. I'm showing you how you can get this publicly. So it get rank on Google. So if this keyword get, start to get ranking, so they will see this full article. So let me run one more approach here and I'm going to show you how you can start setting this up. So when I run this, so the next keyword will be this do probiotics help with GERD. Let me run this once more.
And you will see right here, it's all successful. When we check this, Smart has done, and we should have our new topic. As you can see, this is the newly created one. When you open this, there you go. Do probiotics help with GERD? And these are featured image, and you will see right here, this is a full version article. And this is a SEO friendly article, so there's a very good chance that this keyword will be ranking on Google as long as this is publicly shared. Now, let me show you how you can easily set that up. If you are gonna import this in a new scenario in make.com, first set up a blank Google spreadsheet. Let me show you. So this blank Google spreadsheet right here. And for example, your topic will be dental abscess, okay? Sure, you grab keywords. If you need a free trial of SEMrush, you can check the link in the description below. So we just type that in. And look at this, I have 18 keywords. So you can remove the difficulty because I don't think this topic is too competitive. So you can remove the keyword difficulty and you will have 823 keywords here. So you can copy all this topic right here, copy them. So when you select this, you will copy the first 100, paste that from the second row right here. So remove all these columns from B to G, delete them. So you will only have the keywords right here. And make sure you need column name, keywords, and status. So set this all to pending. Click this, so everything will be in pending status. And then name this spreadsheet as a uh, that says. So that will be uh, our topic that we will create in automation. Now, in your Google Drive, create a new folder. Make sure you are in the root folder, okay? Fix my drive and then click create a new folder. Okay, have this new folder right here. To make all the contents of this publicly shared, so take this and click share right here. And then in the general access, make this anyone with a link and then click on done. So all the content that you're gonna put here in this folder will be accessible. And if your keywords have meaningful topic, then you will have a higher chance getting some ranking on the first page of Google. So make sure you have your very good topic right here. So we set all our topic here. Now in our automation, download this template and this is how you're gonna set up. So if you don't want to use Article AI Generator, that's fine, you can set up your own, maybe ChatGP, OpenAI or Claude, and then write your prompt to create content and then maybe use Gemini to create your image. But if you want a convenient way, you can use Article AI Generator because this has all the full version article at the same time you will be able to generate image and then you can set them up so the only change that you will do here is the secret key and the user so get your username and secret key from article ai generator website right here and paste them here now in the google sheet change this to the spreadsheet id which is the name of your spreadsheet dental abscess in our case now it will automatically have the configuration if you import the blueprint, so don't touch them. So everything is fine. Just make sure you have your Google connection ready. Right here, you can add your new Google connection right here. Just sign into your Google. Dental app says save that and update this task Google sheet step and change this to dental app says. Now, sometimes you will get confused because we created a folder at the same time. We have this spreadsheet. So make sure you select the spreadsheet right there. So you don't need to touch the configuration again. They're all set. As you can see, it's marked, marking the status as done. And once you set your article AI generator, your Google Sheet, now it's a time to create the document. So when you open this, again, these are all connected, so you don't have to chat, touch. The only thing you need to change is this Google connection. Connect it where you save your spreadsheet and your Google Drive folder. So as you can see here, it's still pointing to GERD. So I'm going to change this to Dental Abscess right there and save that. And lastly, open this. So just making sure this insert image is correctly mapped here. So most of the time you don't have to touch this. So just to give you an explanation, so this by index will insert an image at the very top of the document. So this is getting the document ID where this one is being created. So after creating this document, it will have the document ID where this will insert an image and the image will be coming from article AI generator. So this is the image URL. It will be inserted at the top of the document. Save that. Now let's run this and let's see whether it's going to create our first topic, which is what caused dental abscess. Oh, before that, don't forget to change your Amazon hack here. So as you can see, this is the format of the Amazon link. So what's happened here, you will have your tag. So make sure you have your tag. When you have your Amazon affiliate, you will get a tag. So this will determine where the commission goes. You can have as many tracking IDs as you need in your Amazon affiliate account. And this is just to tell me tracking ID so I'm, I'm where the sale is coming from. And the keyword will be dynamic. That is going to be the keyword 
from our Google Sheet. So the generated article will be mostly related to the keyword. It will be the result in Amazon. So this is how you're going to mock up the HTML and it's all set up here. So you just need to map the keyword from there and make sure to change this tag to your own tracking tag from your Amazon affiliate account. All right. So those are the changes that you need to do. Just come back to this video if you get confused when setting this up. And that's it. You can run this automation now. It should create our first topic in what caused dental abscess. So we will have our first content here. And there you go. Automation is done. Look at that. It's marked as done. And there you go. That's our first content in this dental abscess niche. And when you open this, we have our attractive featured image right there. We have the keyword here. And we have the complete article with the Amazon link right there. And we're ready to run. You can also share this to Facebook. So just to check if it's publicly shared. So copy this. Open a private browser or an incognito in uh, Google Chrome. And there you go. It scans as publicly as you can see. I'm not signing, but you are able to access this. So just remember to set the folder to anyone with the link, just like how I showed you. And this is ready to get some ranking. Especially we have a pretty comprehensive article right here. And there you go, guys. So if you have any question, just leave them in the comment below. I'm going to export the blueprint on this one. So you can import this in your own make.com and start creating content. See you in the next one.